Hello, and welcome back to another movie review with moi. The movie today, or the movie topic that I'm going to be discussing, is the movie Zoolander. Zoolander is a meme now. I've actually seen a part of the movie before it became a meme. I think someone was watching it and I was so happened to be there, but I remember not being a fan of it. It wasn't really that type of movie, but I was a kid, so, um, but now that I'm older, you know, I'm consciously aware of myself so I can process the movie like a normal viewer. So I didn't end up watching the entire thing, I just remember that one scene gas station fire explosion so last night i sat down and watched the movie and let me tell you it was exactly what i expected the first 10 minutes is where everyone gets the clips from the entire movie everyone's doing the face you know the face <laughs> that was my lame attempt at doing the face if you were to take a shot every time that you saw that face, you would simply lose in the first 30 minutes. The entire movie is just that stare. The smolder, the the stare, I don't, whatever it's called, it's just everywhere now. Every time that I see or the eyebrow raise, started with Dwayne Johnson doing the eyebrow raise. I can't do that. Uh, the Sigma male thing, it lasted a very long time with uh, Christian Bale character Patrick Bateman. You know? <laughs> it lasted a very long time. And then, whoop, Zoolander swept it up of his feet. It, it, it's just become a meme now, doing that face, smoldering. I'm surprised that it came at the last second of 2022. It, I feel like that's the best thing to end a year. The great meme made its way to 2022 you know it wraps up the whole year there whenever it pops up onto my for you page i just find it hilarious I, it's so funny it, and it could go with anything anybody can relate to to that meme ben stiller's character funny guy been in many comedy movies that i personally enjoy Derek zoolander um is a male model yeah so owen wilson's character hansel is also a male model. The movie pokes fun at the modeling industry and uh, the magazines and its stereotypes. So Derek Zoolander um, loses male model of the year to Hansel and this creates beef between the two competing with each other. Oh I'm better, oh you suck and Zoolander gets depressed and feels like he's a failure. They also go into the magazines and the typical, oh my god, I can't believe they said that about me, you know, that kind of thing. <sighs> then it goes into some Illuminati kind of crap. It, it <laughs> a wild turn. Enemies to lover kind of thing with the two main characters. Em uh, enemies to frenemies. And one thing about this movie is that I have never seen so many celebrities in a movie in one scene in my entire life and so many recognizable faces and they were actually in the movie they had lines they had a purpose you know because some movies uh they or they reference the actor or they steal a clip from somewhere else and put it in the movie no th they were actually in the movie i was shocked i can't believe they agreed to be in this movie <laughs> a-list celebrities like paris hilton david bowie natalie portman th th that guy from titanic I'm not even joking. The list goes on. So many celebrities that were big at the time. When did the movie come out? 2001. So I wasn't even born yet or thought about. Um, it was very meant for this era. I didn't get half of the references. It's an hour and 29 minutes. It was really fast. The story was all over the place, but it also made my sense. It was kind, you know what this movie reminded me? How Shrek 2 was. But actually, I would prefer Shrek 2 over this movie, but it was kind of like that, how they poke fun in, of the industry, you know, Hollywood and everything. But obviously, Shrek 2 
is way better than this. I'll just say that. You know what else it reminded me of? It reminded me of Austin Powers, released during the same time. Throw some of those elements in there, and that's what it was. And the movie is definitely not for everyone. Like, you have to go in there thinking, this is a joke. <laughs> I'm surprised that it resurfaced in today's society. It would not fly. At the end of the movie, the, uh, Ben Stiller, a Zoolander guy, saves the day with the ultimate smolder. So yeah, he pulls off the, the, the ultimate stare, you know, and saves the day. And that's the end of the movie. Then they had this, a bunch of, he opened up a school. I, the whole movie, they're just doing that face. Even a baby does it. And the editing is terrible. <laughs> there were some funny parts and there were some, uh, uh, like, oh my god, they put that in there. That's, that's what I feel about the movie. Um, it, it was basically it. I, I get the joke now. I understand where the meme comes from. You know, sometimes you gotta, like, educate yourself of meme lore. You know, where do these memes come from? You gotta kind of educate yourself once in a while on meme lore. This should be in our history books. How would I rate that movie? I would rate it a 7 out of 10. It wasn't my type of movie. I, I mean, I didn't love it. I wouldn't add it to my list. It was okay. I mean, I maybe, I don't think I got the joke. That's what it was. But do I recommend watching this movie? Yes, I actually do. Um, if you want to get the meme. I mean, Owen Wilson's character was pretty funny too. He was kind of like the hippie, kind of like, like uh, Nirvana, kind of, yeah, man, yeah, so just let it go, man, that kind of thing. The new uprising model of the year, you know, Ben Stiller was kind of like the, mm, mm, yeah, mm, look at me, mm, the seas of the club, man, I feel real nice. It's just funny to me. I don't. There were some funny parts, but overall, I sat through the movie. I didn't get bored. It's very early 2000s. 